You know, one of my favorite things to do uh, in Wisconsin is, is wade rivers and, and fish for smallmouth bass. Uh, it's just something, I caught my first one in 1994 and I've caught thousands since and I've caught thousands on the rivers. And uh, it, it's, you know, it, it's something that's very easy to do, you know, put the waders on, find a place to get in, wade the river. We're not in very deep water right now. And I've used a lot of different lures, but back in the fall of 2007 was the very first time I used uh, what is also my favorite uh, uh, lake lure for smallmouth, especially in Door County, and that's the Kalen's Lunker Grub. And I remember that uh, fall, and I was using uh, the four and five inch versions, and, and just was amazed at the typical smaller river fish that were hitting it. And, and I would have to say that my favorite color, my favorite size for my river fishing, is the, the four inch blue pearl salt and pepper. Uh, five inch works fine also. And I'm, I'm, I'm putting this on a, a one, 1 16th ounce jig, occasionally slightly heavier, with a longer, a longer shaft, because what we want to do is we want to thread the, the, the kalins on that jig. We, we, we put the hook in right at the center of the top, and there's a seam on each side of the, the kalins that we want to run this right down that seam, right down the center, and we run it down, and we want to bring that hook point right out, right above the tail. And typically, I start off swimming this with the tail opposite of the hook point. Yet, if it gets beat up, many I'll sometimes you know, bite off a little bit and I'll turn it around and it seems to work just fine. I like to use for equipment for this, typically a light action or a medium light action rod. Uh, usually at least seven feet long for rivers. That's my favorite length. I'd say six, six, seven feet. Going a little longer, I use when I'm on the big water, like up in Door County, but the seven foot medium light is perfect. I tend to like reels that are, are smaller, so I've got a light outfit that because I'm making a lot of casts. Um, I'm using, uh, the last five or six years, the very small diameter braid. Um, you know, 10 pound test, two pound diameter, eight pound test, three pound diameter, something like that. And I also, and this goes back to my, my time in Door County with the real clear water, but I do tie on a three and a half, four foot to start with fluorocarbon leader utilizing the uni to uni knot. And it's been just great. It, it, it's something that the fish are not seeing in the clear water. And many times the rivers I fish aren't clear. Obviously Door County is clear and some of the lakes I fish. And it's been a real, uh, I think a real plus. I like it, I, I, I use that. Um, the Kalins is such an easy lure to use, There, really there's not much that you can fish that's easier. And what I'm doing with it is I'm typically casting as far as I can cast, and I'm bringing it back as slow as I can because this lure, and I don't know if it can be seen in the water here, but this lure with tail, design. how it undulates, and that's probably about the same speed as if I'm retrieving it somewhat slowly, but you can see how tantalizing that is. And also with uh, the way I rigged this on the jig, you know, you're not having it, the, the body, uh, you know, bounce back and forth. It's the body's coming through, you know, pretty much stable, and it's the tail that's, that's uh, you know, attracting the, uh, attracting the fish. And um, the, you know, the, you know, this comes in a three, four, and five inch. And you start getting that longer tail in the four and five inch, and I, I do, personally, I think, except in real cold water, when you might want to go to a three, I think that the, the four and the five are going to be, are going to be just great, and um, and overall, I guess my you know top to bottom, cold water to every condition, I I like the four, yet the five uh, is still a, a great product too. But we want to bring it back slow, so that that tail is undulating and that attracts the fish, and a little tougher in rivers, and that's why I'm using the lighter jig, cast as far as we can, close the bale, and then bring it back. Oh, oh we got a fish timing there. 
got a nice little smallie here. Probably not real big. These smaller rivers, the tendency is that, yes, there are some bigger fish, but a lot of the small ones. There we go. Just a nice little small mouth. Uh, but that's what I do. I cast it. I bring it back as slow as I can. Certainly in rivers, you're going to get a few more ticks on the rocks and maybe an occasional snag compared to the lakes. But that's the way to fish it. Many people uh, seem to want to fish it a little too fast. And I say slow in the colder water, slow in the warmer water. That's the way it was designed to fish it, nice and slow, steady retreat, not jigging along the bottom, nice and steady. And, and it's just been a phenomenal lure for me. And I, I'm not exaggerating since I began using them full time in late 2007, uh, numbers of thousands of smallmouth bass and uh, of all sizes. It's just a, a great presentation that's, that's so easy to use that I recommend you give a try to. Nice Kalen's grub smallie. Nice one for a small river like this. That's a nice fish. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right on that, getting that blue pearl salt and pepper just slammed it. Wow, look at that. Right where you want it, right there. Get that out. And, boy, that's a nice, nice river fish. You know, nice solid pound. Not, not real big, but boy, what a fighter in this nice. current. Oh, what a pretty fish. Nice, nice. Small river, smallie here. Look at that guy. Wow. Isn't that nice? Maybe a pound, a little more than a pound, but isn't that, that is so pretty. Right on that, just my favorite river color. Uh, blue pearl salt and pepper, four inch. Can't beat it. It's been great for me for a number of years now. Always produces. Little river fish on the can. Yeah, that's a nice one. Nice day. Wouldn't be doing that if it was about twice as big, but again, another nice little blue pearl salt and pepper. Oh, there you go. Catching a few nicer fish. A fighter. Not big, but another another fighter. We're, boy, we're catching a lot of fish today on this thing. And it's so nice because it comes out so easy when you're just using the jig. And if a guy really wants to, he could always bend the barb down. 